Anna is doing this video. Just kidding. Hi, my name is Paul, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 13th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1. This is from the Blue Book app. Whenever you've got a table or a chart or a graph, what you want to do is you want to read the title, see how it relates, and you want to read all the categories and see how those relate as well. So what we see here, the title is Employment by Sector in France and the United States from 1800 to 2012 as a percent of to total employment. You've got the year in the left column. You've got agriculture in France, manufacturing in France, services in France, and then agriculture in U.S., manufacturing U.S., services in the U.S. So you can see that we've got the same metrics for each of them. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to number them. One, two, three, and then again, one, two, three. So when we're comparing this table, we want to compare the one columns, agriculture in each con country, to the two columns, manufacturing in each country, to the three columns, services in each country. And it says rows in the table may not add up to 100 due to rounding. Thank you for the note. And then we read the text. Over the past 200 years, a percent of population employed in the agricultural sector has declined in both France and the United States, while employment in the services sector, which includes jobs related in retail, consulting, real estate, etc., have risen. However, this transition happened. Let's see this part. Usually the last sentence is most important. And that's what the question's asking about. This transition happened at very different rates in the two countries. This can be seen most clearly by comparing the employment by sector in both countries. Now when you go to the answer choices, which choice most effectively uses data from the table to complete the statement? We're comparing employment by sector in the countries from one year to another year. So let's see answer choice D. It's 1800 to 1900. When we see 1800 agriculture in France, we've got 64 to 1900 is 43. That's decrease of 21, 21%. In the US, it goes from 68% to 41%. That's decrease of 27%. Pretty close. Manufacturing in France rose from 22 to 29%. That's a rise of 7%. Manufacturing in the U.S. rose from 18 to 28. That's a rise of 10%. Pretty close. Services rose from 14 to 28 in France. Increase of 14%. In the U.S., it rose from 13 to 31%. Increase of 18%. So you could see that these percentages, they're not like terribly off, but they're a little bit off. So maybe they're off by like 4% on average or something like that. So maybe you jot a little four in the margin over there. Let's look at 1900 to 2012. 1900 here in France, agriculture is from 43% to 3%. That's a drop of 40%. Agriculture in the US drops from 41 to 2%. That's a drop of 39%. So the difference there is only a, uh, 1%. Manufacturing in France goes from 29 to 21. That's a difference of 8%, drop of 8%. And in the US, manufacturing goes from 28 to 18. It's a drop of 10%. So 10%, 8% drop, difference of 2%. Services in France from 28 to 76. That's an increase of 48%. Um, in the US, 31 to 80. That's an increase of 49%. So 49 and what did we say? We said 48. So th this only is different by like a percent or two. So C has less of a change than uh, D. Uh, most likely is it, oh wait. Um, so happened at very different rates. Actually answer choice D is a better choice than C at this point. So we'd keep uh, answer choice D. Let's compare 1800 with 2012. 1800 to 2012. We go from 64 here to three here. That's a change of 61%. 68 to two, um, that's a change of 66%. So 61 to 66, that difference is five, okay? And then if we go 1800 to 2012 in manufacturing, 22 to 21%. That's only a decrease, that's a decrease of 1%. And then manufacturing in the US is the same. 
So that difference between the changes is just one there. And then if we looked at services in France, we go from 14 in 1800 to 76 in 2012. That's a change of 62%. And in the US, it goes from 13 to 80. That's a change of 67. So what would we say 62, 67? That's a difference of five as well. So on average, 515. That's a bigger change, so D is gone. Now let's see 1900 to 1950. 1900, agriculture, 43. 1950, 32. It's a drop of 11%. Agriculture in the US, 41 to 14. That's a drop of all right, 27. So we're comparing 27 and 11. So that's a difference of 16. Boom, it looks like this is gonna be our answer straight away, just based on that first metric. Now, let's see 1900 to 1950 in the other categories. 1900, 29 to 33. That's just a difference of four, increase of four. Here, manufacturing, 28 to 33. That's a difference of five. So we've got 16 and then we've got one. Um, and then we're gonna check out 1900 to 1950 in services, 28 to 35, that's a difference of seven. And then 31 to 53, that's a difference of 22, seven and 22. If we subtracted those, we'd get 15. So that's a difference of 15. So you can see that answer choice A is gonna be your correct answer. Back to what the question was, Transition happened at very different rates for the two countries. Could see seen most clearly by comparing employment by sector in both countries in 1900 to 1950. That where you see the biggest difference. Uh, the change happened at a difference of 16%, 1%, and 15%, which is higher than any of the other changes between any of the other years. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty reading these tables or charts or graphs. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day.